Tell me a governor who is sounding like this, who represents something like this. Uh, what type of society is he going to govern? How would that society be? He says that he is proud to talk before the world in the national television. That he paid people, women that came to deliver in the national hospital, five, 500 naira. 500 naira is not up to one dollar. That that is what he gave them, that they are poor. <laughs> can you see? Now tell me, a man with such um, risk, how can he drive a very good developed economy? How can he build a civilized economy or state in that case? Now I'm going to take you down to what is happening in Imo State. Just take a look. And this is in Imo State. This is a market in the Imo State. You see, these are the things that the so-called governors in the Zoological Republic should have concentrated on and make the place a better place. But no, uh, the one from Imo State is busy looking for youths that he is doing mass clearance, uh, like, like uncle, like brother. Ibia State and Imo State. The one of Ibia State says he pay five five hundred, And the one of Imo State see what is going on. And to cop it up, he brought a bag. Uh, following that, this is another one. What is currently happening today? Uh, today is the 10th day of August. To remind you, uh, this is happening in Ozuakola. Ozuakola is a community in Ibia State. And um, they are protesting. Why are they protesting? Because the Zoological Republic government has proposed to come and build Ami Barak and Fulani uh, camp in Ozuakola. This is sugar they want to establish. Ojozo Kalo is really determined to convert the entire Ibia State. To be a Fulani camp, to be a Fulani territory. Recall that he was the one that gave gave a lot of a lot of to Fulanis. He used that as a ruga for them. Now they are they want to take Ozua Kole, and that is why they are protesting. If you recall vividly, you will remember that um, last week or there about we were we brought you an information that for some days Army has been patrolling in Ozua Kole. We mentioned various communities in Abia states. We try to sensitize our people. Most especially the youth, in as much as the T group in uniform have started patrolling within these communities, the youth should be extremely careful. Now you can see the result of their patrolling. Uh, they have just um, decided that they are going to establish Fuladi camp. Well, that is Ruga. I know how they do it. They work hand in hand. Anywhere you see Fuladi camp, you see military camp, then you see Fuladi camp there. So they work hand in hand. Uh, that's why our people are protesting, saying, no, federal government, take your tea group out. We don't want that. There is no need to build army barracks here. If you want to build army barrack, go to your north, where you have laws of insecurity and banditry. Ozuakoli is okay. There is, not an issue. there is no issue there. Why come in to establish a Fulani camp as well as military barracks? We know where they are coming from. We know what they intend to do. So that's why it is necessary that people continue doing so. They continue protesting, saying no, they don't want it.